due to a request, we're going to look at how to view HTTP headers for requests and responses using common tools that can be put into Firefox and also one standalone tool. So we're going to use cache control headers as an example. And we have Matilda just on the home page set in security level zero. In this level, Matilda won't use any cache control. Level five, it will. So we'll just compare the two to use as an example. First tool is going to be lab HTTP headers. So the way this one works, it's an add-on for Firefox. You can get it from addons.mozilla.org. Install it into Firefox, and then it's not a bad idea to configure the uh, URLs that are image files to exclude those by checking the box here. And then, uh, for example, in this one, we've added the .jpeg extension in addition to the .jpg to get rid of JPEGs. Make sure the capture button is checked, which it is by default, and then just refresh the page or browse to the page that you want to look at the headers for. If we go back to live HTTP headers, we can see that there's the get here that we did, and then here's the response. And it's clear in this example that there's no cache control headers. The only headers are server and next powered by, which we really don't want, and then the content type and length and date. So let's compare that to Matilda and security level five. We'll go ahead and hit toggle security. That'll change this to level one. And then we have to hit toggle security again once we get to level one to get to level five. Level one is largely just JavaScript validation is added to a lot of the pages. There's not much difference between level zero and level one. Both are easy to defeat. In level five, we'll open lab HTTP headers again. Hit F5 to refresh. And this time we can see the cache control header and the pragma no cache header are shown in lab HTTP headers. Another tool we can use is HTTP Fox. It is also an add-on for Mozilla. The way it works is you hit start, then you go ahead and browse to or refresh the page that you're on. And the different individual requests will show up in the top pane. We'll highlight the main request, and it shows the request on the left and the response on the right. Again, we can see the cache control headers, our example headers that we're using, along with all the other response headers. So both Live HTTP headers and the more advanced HTTP Fox are in-browser proxies. Additionally, we can use an external proxy like Burp Suite. In this case, we would turn the intercept on, go back to Firefox, hit F5, or browse to the page. And we can see the request is captured. When we're done looking at the request or changing it, we can forward this request to the web server and wait for the response. The response has come back. We can see the cache control headers and the pragma headers in this response and compare those to how we saw them in live HTTP headers and HTTP Fox. When we're ready, we can go ahead and forward this response back to Firefox so it can be displayed. The word request or response will be shown here in case it's confusing about whether you're looking at the request or the response. We'll go ahead and forward this to Firefox to be rendered, and we can look at Firefox and see the pages rendering. So using tools either built into Firefox or using external proxies like Burp Suite, it's easy to view the HTTP request headers and HTTP response headers for debugging or development.